Hey guys, welcome to Gilded Reviews. Today we are going to be doing our first in-depth review. These reviews will be a little different than our early access first looks. We will get in there and really see what this game has to offer. These are fully released titles, so I can't ignore repetitive gameplay or game-breaking bugs. Along the way, hopefully we answer how this game will fit into your library. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into Cat Quest, the new cat-focused RPG by Gentle Bros. Cat Quest is a great little RPG that has managed to get a lot of RPG elements simplified down so anyone can play. Just looking at the videos had me at the purchase screen for my daughter, who loves cats and Zelda. This looked like a great combination of the two. Unfortunately, I noticed a lot more innuendo than I would have liked to see in an obviously geared towards children game. Fortunately, my daughter is just a little too young to read. It's like the developer said, make a cute game, but the writer was like, let's just sneak this in there. Honestly though, it isn't that bad, and any kid 10 and up should really be fine with it. I just think the game really limited itself by doing this. Now, some adults, including myself, will enjoy this game. A lot. It's fun, but it isn't something I see a lot of people running towards. If they had left out some of the more rough around the edges text, they could have easily marketed towards an entire different community. Anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into the actual game. Let's start by talking about the music. The music, like most things in this game, is really well done. It brings emphasis to the moments that it needs to and slows down, bringing a more somber tone when things are depressing. I really don't have a lot else to say here. The music is good, and honestly, music is supposed to do one thing, add to the gameplay. Bring emotion to the game that you're playing, and it does this well. The gameplay is really where it sets itself apart from the competitors. It tries to combine aspects from Zelda and other isometric RPGs, and it does it flawlessly. The combat is fun and engaging, and at the same time being a great starting place for young RPGers. They outline every attack, making sure you know when it's coming, and how far you need to go to get out of it. It's a simple combination of visual cues and basic attack patterns that somehow makes it extremely easy and frustratingly difficult at the same time. Now with that said, you will die, and probably a lot more than you thought, but most of that has to do with entering a zone that's way too high of a level for you, which can be frustrating. However, these areas are very well marked and pretty easy to avoid. The story will actually bring you into some of these areas, but it really isn't that bad. You just run by the guys and do the part of the mission you need to. The missions for the most part are all fun and very entertaining. The writing is great and full of cat puns, if you're into that kind of thing. Each city or town has a quest board that usually carries a quest string that leads to a decent piece of gear or a gear upgrade. It's simple, but satisfying. Leveling up in this game is also great. I know that sounds dumb, but honestly a lot of games require too much of a grind to get to the level needed to defeat the current boss. Not only can you beat every boss in this game way under gear just from your own skill, but leveling up isn't a chore and often surprises you in the middle of combat. There is no level limit on gear either, and you can equip anything you find right away, which is a nice change of pace from having to hold items in your inventory till you have the required amount of strength to wield it. The amount of different gear in this game really surprised me. One of the downfalls of this game is how short it is, and we'll get into that later, but even after defeating the final boss, I am finding all kinds of new gear. They all have different stats and can be leveled up by finding the same piece again in any of the treasure boxes around. They made everything feel like a win for the player, which is great. When you open up a chest, you won't end up with two pieces of the same gear, you end up with sometimes adding 20 levels to a sword, dramatically increasing its effectiveness the next time you want to use it. The magic system is fantastic as well. There are plenty of choices for a game this size, and you can level up each one of them to make them stronger. You control the elements, and it does this as simple as possible. Each skill has a set range and direction from the main player when it's cast. That range and direction never changes, 
making it easy to get used to lining up enemies for combos. When you level up the magic, it increases its damage and effectiveness, which adds yet another element to progression. These are all great introductory RPG elements that are well organized and easy to understand, making this a great choice for any new RPG player. The one main downside to Cat Quest is really its length. Unfortunately, even a novice player will complete the game in a few hours, which is really sad. I enjoyed this game a lot and want more. I do understand why it's short though. For one, it's only 12 bucks. Secondly, I think a lot of these elements would get old after a while. When you try to increase the length of a game, a lot of times you add in filler or grinding content, and that is really one of the things I love about this game. There isn't any of that. Cat Quest is a surprisingly fun game that players of most ages can enjoy. With a little less innuendo and maybe a longer story mission, this game would be a definite take home. The game is only 12 bucks, which makes the short story understandable and honestly forgivable, which is why I'm ranking this title so high. I think they hit the perfect price point. 12 bucks is easily worth the 4 to 5 hours of gameplay you will get in Cat Quest. I would score it higher if the innuendo was appropriate for under 10. The game is cute and has cats in it, it only makes sense to market more for children. That is of course my opinion, some people may find it perfectly okay for kids. Cat Quest is a great game. Its simple but fun and engaging RPG elements come together perfectly, making this game a great choice for anyone looking to get into the RPG genre or anyone looking for a cheap but fun RPG. Overall, I would rank Cat Quest a 7 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We're a brand new channel just looking to get some gaming reviews and other videos out there. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps us out. Have a great day.